Hello, uh, I am back again for another gaming tutorial. I'm gonna go ahead and say I tried recording this, tried recording this uh, tutorial earlier. Uh, I spent about 15 minutes re uh, not realizing that my microphone wasn't working. Uh, it, it did record my voice, but it was uh, the volume was like really low, so. Just, I'm, I'm just letting you know I'm re-recording this. So today we are going to do a attacking tutorial, and don't worry, it's not going to be too long like my other tutorials. It's going to be, uh, well, the last video was, the last time I tried to record this, it was 15 minutes. So without further ado, <clears throat> let me show you my attacking sprites. Uh, it's not very, not too much, but of course. Whatever you would have, it would probably look a lot better. I just realized this needs to be filled. Like that. So it's not too much, and, and the down animation is a little bit different. So, you know. Uh, so basically, we're gonna, we're gonna try and do kind of a uh, let's say Legend of Zelda type attacking, where you can't move while you're attacking, and I guess you could just spam it. So let's do attacking equals false. That's not how you spell false. So attacking equals false, and this will be our, our base variable for whatever we do. Real quick. Uh, let me just comment this out. If we do th three slashes and put movement, then this this piece of uh, of code will change the movement. Or we can drag another one here and do slash 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 attacking. And then this is just to better organize all of our stuff. So <coughs> before we get into that, let's go back to into movement. And we're going to do a simple if statement. If attacking equals false, and then we, we put everything, all of this into that. So this links up with this one at the bottom. So basically, if attacking does equal false, then we can move. If it equals true, then uh, then we, we we can't move, and that means we're attacking. So uh, if we were to uh, run the game, we would still be able to move because we haven't attacked yet. So in attacking, let's do if attacking equals false, because you don't want to be attacking while you're attacking. Uh, then we'll do if <coughs> yeah, well, what was the command mouse button So we do we'll do the mouse check button pressed if mouse underscore check underscore press underscore button is it no button press there we go and mb underscore left. So now, if we do press the, the left mouse button, we will run whatever is in here. <coughs> and here we will do if direction equals direction equals down. So 
I'm not sure if you remember, we actually set a direction variable down here, uh, direction, and this is set every time we walk. So if, if we're walking down, then the direction equals down, oops, and then up equals up, left, left, right, right, and that helps us with the outer animations. We could actually make this idle animation a lot simpler. But if you have an idle animation, that's actually an uh, animation, because right now our, our idle animation is just one frame, uh, then you would most likely want to be doing this. <coughs> so now in here we do another one of these. This should be the last if statement. Actually, there's three more that come after this, but it's basically just copying this over and over. Then we would do uh, sprite underscore index <coughs> equals spr underscore attack down. <coughs> Image underscore speed equals let's say 0 0.4 and image underscore index equals 0 and attacking equals 1 I oh, know sorry true it, it's practically the same thing if you do one or one is true zero is false basically and basically what this is saying is if attacking equals true, which it is because we set it here in our create event. So if attacking equals true, then it will check if we're pressing the left mouse button. So if we press the left mouse button, then it will look, it will check in which direction we're looking at. So in this case, we're, we're looking downward, and then it will it will put our SPR player attack down animation, set our image speed, set the image index to equal zero because if you're walking, and your image index equals three or two, then we don't want the animation to end um, like instantly. We want it to start from the from the very first frame. And then it was set attacking was true, so then this will be false, and we can't do this while we're attacking. So I hope that made sense. I'm gonna copy this and paste it a couple times. That should be enough. We'll change this to up. Change that to up. <clears throat> All right, so now that we have this, uh, so now as soon as it checks uh, if we're pressing the left mouse button, it will check in every single direction. So if we're not looking down in this, it will skip all of this. And if we're not looking up, it'll skip this. But if we are looking left, then it will run this and basically just skip all that, the, the right one. But now we actually have to set our attacking back to false once we're done attacking. So in our other animation end event, We'll do another one, and how's this gonna work? If <coughs> sprite underscore index equals SPR, and you just look for this, whichever one doesn't really matter, and we'll copy this. Actually, let's. Or now we copy that, paste it about three more times. 
Sorry about not doing that. Let me just. I'll go back and show you what I what I did in case you couldn't see. Okay, so now we change all of this to the ones that we didn't have. So right. down and up so now we have left left up down right now here we go back down and then here we will do attacking equals Okay, so now, if, so once we attack, it'll change our, our sprite to like, uh, animation, or attack left. Once this animation finishes, it will set our attack and take was false, and then we are, the player is allowed to move. So, if attacking equals left, then we'll do this, but if it doesn't equal left, but, it, it, it but attacking equals up, is true, then we'll run this. So this is just an or statement, basically. And we can go ahead and t uh, test this. So, yep. So we stop moving. And we attack. Yep, okay. This actually... I'm not sure if I changed the code or any way, shape, or form, because it, it's actually working a lot better than when I had it. Because uh, if I were to attack and, and hold a mouse or a directional key, the player would keep attacking. But anyways, so we can basically spam the attack. I think we might want to make it a little a bit faster. We can go in our other room. As you can see, I, got, I went kind of lazy on the up animation. And of course, if you if you don't like the 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 button being the left mouse button, you can always change it to like X or something, which I guess would be conventional for most Flash games, if that's what you're trying to do, anyways. I don't think most RPG games like this have uh, the player using the the mouse button. Now, actually this tutorial might be a bit longer, I'm going to actually add a sprinting system. Uh, it's actually not going to be that hard to do. We'll just do the player. And we'll create another... Actually no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip this, I'm going to skip the sprinting and I'm going to leave it for the next tutorial which will probably be today. Uh, I'm going to I might put two because this uh, episode was probably short. So thank you guys for watching and goodbye.